Hey guys, Cody with CJC off road and today we have a unique one for you. Very often we get guys who say, hey, what lift height is gonna look good on a long bed truck? And then we also get a lot of guys with Ford Super Duty, specifically with the King Ranch package saying, hey, what the heck color combination do I put together on this truck? It has such a unique two-tone. I really don't know what's gonna look good. And I think today we're gonna show you guys a build that checks both of those boxes off and pairs it with an incredibly high performance suspension system that's gonna allow them to tow commute, do whatever he's going to do. He could even jump this truck if he wanted to. I highly doubt he will, especially with how good it looks. But this customer will be able to do anything with a fully electronically adjusted shock. Um, it's a very unique package and I'm excited to show it to you guys today. Now this system is the four and a half slash five and a half Carly suspension e-venture system. Now there's the four and a half, five and a half because in 21, Ford actually lowered the trucks by one inch and that is just because they started getting extremely tall from the factory. And therefore, when we put a four and a half inch kit from the previous years, it becomes a five and a half inch kit on the 21 and up trucks. Now, if you have a tremor, that measurement actually changes, but don't worry, no matter what your trim package, what your year, when you do put these parts on your truck, the final package is going to look like this. Now, one thing we try to avoid is getting caught up in the semantics of certain lift heights. So many guys say, hey, you need a six inch to do this or whatever. There's no real point. This is gonna be a lifted application that is gonna perform better than any other kit on the market. So if you want to clear 38 inch tires on your newer Ford Super Duty and have a lot of fun off-road on the weekends or just an extremely smooth riding system, this is gonna be the kit for you. Diving on into the front of the truck, it's going to have Carly Suspension Signature Multi-Rate Coils the custom tuned, completely electronic um, 2.5 E-Click shock. Now this shock, uh, we have a complete video diving into the specifics of it, as so does Carly Suspension on their channel. However, this shock, um, hundreds of times or thousands of times per second is making adjustments based off your throttle, your steering, your braking, as well as the pitch and the angle of the truck. And what it's doing is adjusting the firmness and adjusting the oil flow in order to account for what is happening. So say you swerve on the freeway, the shock's actually gonna ramp up and that's gonna keep it very planted. However, if you're pulling into your own driveway at home and things like that at a low speed, it's gonna pull that all out of the shock and allow the suspension to give and therefore giving you a much more comfortable ride in the vehicle. You'll notice a few extra trinkets on the front of this truck, first being the torsion sway bar. The torsion sway bar is a lighter rate sway bar that gives you just that much more compliance over uh, rocks if you're going off-road, like say you hit a one-sided rock, going into driveways, on-road, things like that, anywhere where one wheel is traveling different from the other, it's a lighter rate sway bar that's gonna give you a much more better felt ride in the cab. And then uh, behind the axle, we're gonna have the Carly fabricated radius arms. Obviously on a build of this caliber that it's just gonna be the cherry on top. However, there is a couple functional benefits. First and foremost being the um, enhanced tire clearance. Now with this wheel and tire combo, it's not a concern, but for those of you with running uh, extremely inset wheels like the factory wheels, these pockets are gonna allow you just a little bit more tire clearance. Next, the custom um, joint at the rear frame side of the arm, that is a much more uh, free moving joint. So if you see radius arms on the market with a gigantic bushing that looks just like stock, you're getting no performance benefit out of those arms. This joint allows the arm to cycle up and down as, as well as all the different angles with a lot freer range of movement, and that's gonna result in a better ride in the cab of the truck. Lastly, the limit strap tab on these arms, that is pretty much gonna be some off-road bling. And for those of you who are jumping your truck, keeping you from damaging the shocks, for most of us with these rigs, that's not really a problem. My personal rig's gone airborne a couple times, but I think I'm in the minority on that one. Now, a few parts I'm not, I am not touching on, like brake lines, bump stop drops, and things like that. Those are a part of the Carly suspension kit, and they're also standard on a four and a half inch kit. Now, moving to the rear of this truck, we're gonna have the Carly suspension um, manufactured by Deaver Spring soft rate rear leaf springs. Now, the benefit of these is going to be just that. It is a softer rate spring. Therefore, when you're driving around town, things like that, it's much more comfortable. The rear of these trucks has an extreme payload capacity, which is awesome when you're towing, but not awesome when you're not towing. The felt ride, especially for your kids in the back seat or guests, is gonna be a little abrupt. Going with this lighter rate spring, again, paired with a custom tuned shock, you're gonna have a much greater uh, ride quality, both on and off road, especially hitting um, cattle guards, things like that. You're gonna go ahead and mute those where before we'd be tossing the truck all around. Now, I'm sure the next comment about those leaf springs is to say, why would you remove the capacity on the F-350 or an F-250? 
Well, there's a product for that, and that's gonna be the long travel airbags. These are gonna allow the extreme suspension travel that the four and a half inch Carly kit does, while still giving you a fully functioning airbag. Now, this customer will be able to load the bed up in the truck, as well as grab, say, a dump trailer or an RV, fill up those airbags, and actually sit level and tow completely safe um, on the weekends, whatever he's doing, without issue, and yet still, once he unhooks or unloads, let the air out of those bags, and you're gonna see an extremely smooth ride. You'll notice the design of this airbag is a little different to other options on the market, and that is uh, on purpose to allow full suspension travel and the least amount of ride impact as possible from the airbag. Now, another plug for those of you who are shopping kits, the suspension travel on this kit is over 10 inches in the front and over 13 inches in the rear. That's a number that, uh, to my knowledge, no other Ford Super Duty manufacturer actually publishes because those numbers are so poor on a lot of other brands. Now, again, you do get what you pay for and all the supporting components that come with this allow for that suspension travel. And while those of you who will say, hey, I'm not going to Baja or jumping my Super Duty, why will that benefit me? Every time you hit a storm drain, things like that, your driveway, cattle guard, I mean, you name it, your suspension is cycling. And when you bottom it out, you sure know when you bottom it out. And you can even top it out, like on a stock tremor in our video, it was really easy to top out the front of that truck and it just makes for a terrible ride. This system's gonna allow a smooth ride over all kinds of terrain. Now, this truck got one of our favorite wheels. This is the Innovate G600. This is a 20 inch wheel, and that is paired up with a 38 by 1350 needle ridge grappler. Now, if you really wanna trim the least amount as possible or not at all, with a four and a half inch system and a proper wheel choice, a 37 inch tire will clear no problem. So you don't have to go 38s. Again, we are talking about one inch split amongst the diameter of the tire. So from 50 feet, I don't know if it'll totally be as distinguishable. However, the 38s look absolutely perfect on this rig. Now for you weekend warriors out there, there is the Baja Designs linkable light bar setup on the front of this truck. Um, I've been running it on my personal truck. It is an extremely functional light bar setup. Um, you can wire these to one individual upfitter. It's gonna give you all the light you need off-road. I don't really, I can't really think of too many situations where you would want more forward facing light off the front of your truck. Um, I would never recommend running these on the highway, but uh, whether it's getting to your hunting spot, getting to your RV spot, things like that, these lights are a perfect fit. They've been extremely popular, and hey, even if you're not lifting your truck, you can always use some more light. So if you do have a King Ranch long bed, or even not a King Ranch, but a long bed truck, you're trying to figure out what height, this below is gonna be a perfect example. I would say the four and a half inch system with either 37s, 38s, it's gonna be a beautiful, good riding truck. It's going to accomplish all the goals. And again, this is probably one of the most full tilt systems out there. Um, it's not going to be in the budget for everyone. If it's not, we actually have a ton of options out there. So feel free to give us a call. We're happy to walk you through all the options. Also, if you're a shop watching this video and would like to provide this option to your customer, please give us a call. We'd be happy to set you up a wholesale account and get parts to you and to your customers as fast as possible. If you do have any questions, feel free to comment down below, shoot us an email, give us a phone call. We're happy to help and we'll see you guys on the next one.